government has so far shown so much concern, acting through the Minister for Information and the leadership of government in the Bono Hafo region have reached out to the bereaved families and to the injured with some donations and assistance. And I'm calling on you through your various media houses to canvas for support for the bereaved families and the injured because some of them will need further treatment in better health facilities in Accra and elsewhere. So I'm appealing through your medium to benevolent organizations, NGOs, and individuals who have the wherewithal to make generous donations to a very good cause. Um, a nation losing over 60 of its citizens within a split second is indeed a very sad one. And as indicated, the hardest hit constituencies as far as this tragedy is concerned are the Garu and Timpani, with Garu having the majority. Um, the Garu MP is already in the constituency, and I'll be joining him on Thursday for us to uh, meet the various families to show a little support and to, to sympathize with them on this rather very, very sad situation. So I have no doubt in my mind that the appeal we are making now will be carried very far and near to all those who matter because government is doing its best, but it will not be enough to assuage the suffering and pain that families are going through these trying moments. I have said that um, in our part of the world, incidents of this nature, most regrettable, and those that are avoidable continue to recur. And I would like, on behalf of my colleague MP in Garu, the DCE for Timpani and the DCE for Garu, and as I indicated, government as a whole, to say that we should, from today, put in place measures to ensure that such unfortunate events do not recur.